Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a super fun day. I'm wearing my Death Star t-shirt and I found a denim skirt at Gap that fits me. It's a good day. Today I wanted to show you what is on my iPhone because I feel like this is a nerd's version of like what's in my bag and I love watching these and I love getting to know what is on other people's iPhones so I have new apps to look at. So I just want to show you what's on mine, so let's just jump into the video. So if everything is going how I want it right now, you can see my iPhone screen. My, <laughs> the, bleh, the background on it is um, Drowning My Thoughts of You in Cups of Coffee and Cranked Up Tunes, just a quote from Megan Hughes. Um, so let's see. Take you to my front page. So my front page is actually blank because I was one of those cool kids in high school that had like something funny on the front and like wanted it to be displayed. So that's what's on the front. And then on my second page, I have messages, photos, camera, YouTube, reminders, calendar, weather, contacts, all like really boring stuff, um, settings, Google Maps. I like to use Google Maps instead of using Apple Maps. I just think it works a lot better. Um, I find that Apple Maps gets screwed up a lot. And it's also really hard to look ahead in Apple Maps. So I use Google Maps. I use Amazon, Gmail, which I mainly just use for my school email because my school email is a Gmail account, but I use my .me account from Apple primarily as my email so that's just what I have for my school account and then I have Pinterest and then I have this one which is a driving emoji and the hamburger emoji which is all of my um, eating apps so it's Postmates, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. I don't really use them that much but when I was in the UK I used Deliveroo all the time um, and then I have the QR reader, Netflix, and Poshmark and I really like Poshmark. Um, I've sold some stuff on it before but um, I haven't been using it that recently. And really the stuff on my homepage, basically the only things I ever use are actually messages, photos, camera, YouTube, Google Maps, the other, and Pinterest. And like the other things are just like randomly on there. There's no reason they should be on my home screen. And then on the bottom I just have music, mail, safari, and phone. Um, on my second page is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Probably not, still pretty basic. Um, but I have my Facebook app, my Starbucks app, which I never use. I don't think I've used that Starbucks app in so long, but it's one of those things where it's a placeholder so it keeps all my apps in the right place. Um, but yeah, I have Facebook, Starbucks, and then in this folder it says music. I just have my Pandora app, my SoundHound app, Spotify, and SoundCloud. 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 And I don't really find myself using Spotify or SoundCloud that much. Pandora, I use it because I have a perfectly sculpted John Mayer um, playlist that I've been working on since I was in middle school um, and it's perfectly sculpted to what I like when I want that kind of music um, so I really like that um, I don't pay for premium so it's kind of annoying but yeah um, and then my SoundCloud again I don't really use that often um, the main reason I use SoundCloud is for my friend oh yeah there it is my friend's um, music that she just released um, she's really good you should look her up um, and her name should be on the screen um but yeah so it's basically why I use SoundCloud um and then I have Yelp which is really good for if you're in foreign countries or places you don't know I find a lot of coffee shops when I'm in different places um but I don't obviously everyone knows what Yelp is but I don't really use it that much um Brit & Co I don't really use that either I don't know why I have it or why I haven't gotten rid of it um but I mainly look at Brit & Co on like Facebook and that kind of stuff but I don't really look at it on my phone. So next is my photography folder. I think this is a little bit more interesting. Um, I obviously have Instagram and then I have Square Ready and Square Ready is just an app that enables you to pick a picture and then um, put it into a square so if you don't have something that fits. So here's a picture of my friend and her boyfriend at church last night and there you go and now it's a square and now it's gonna fit on Instagram um, and I would just save that and you can also change um, colors of the background um, and make it kind of whatever you want you can make it like kind of reflecting in the background um, so yeah I really like that I used to my Instagram used to be um, used to have a white border around everything then I got tired of that but that's the app that I would use and then I have snapchat which doesn't really make sense in photography but I feel like when I'm going through the rounds of social media I always go Instagram and then snapchat um, but that's why that's there and then I have pick stitch which I don't really use that much it's really good for birthdays if you want to put everyone's pictures together um, BSCO, which I'm pretty sure everyone uses. I don't really use it that much. Um, I prefer to edit my pictures. It's not even loading. That's how much I don't use it. Um, I prefer to edit my pictures on, um, Lightroom. Um, on my computer, I don't really use Visco that much. Um, and I don't really like filtering my pictures. And I find that the photo app, uh, from Apple is actually just, just as good. 
Um, and then I have Avery, which is another photo editing app that I basically never use. Um, and then I have the Nikon app, which basically just connects your phone to your camera so you can easily like drop pictures. Um, so that's that. And then I have Snap Speed, which is a photo editing app I really like. Um, if I were to recommend one, it would be this app. I think it's by Google. Here, let's see. Um, it just has, it's really easy. You can do tune your image and you basically like, you scroll up and down on your phone to pick what you want to be uh, doing. So like brightness, contrast, and then you move your finger across on your phone to like do that. I, that was a really bad description, but you can see what I'm doing on my phone. Um, and I really like that white balance vignette. Basically does everything um, that I would look for in a photo editing app. And I think it's just really simple using your finger to do everything. Maybe Visco does that. Maybe Avery does that. I don't know. I just use, I use snap speed if I'm going to be doing anything. Um, and then I have Planoly, which is something I'm new to. Um, a girl I actually work with told me about this app. Um, and this is basically just to plan out your Instagram feed, which sounds so stupid. And it sounded stupid to me at first as well. But now that I'm trying to move more toward a theme, I think that it's really helpful. Um, you can upload pictures that um, you haven't put on Instagram yet. And you can put like here, ooh, not that one. Um, here's a picture that I was thinking of putting on my Instagram feed and it'll pop up there with a the little U in the corner so that you can see what it would look like on your feed. Um, so I think that's really cool if you're trying to keep an Instagram theme. Other than that, pretty much useless to the normal person. Okay, so on the next screen I have Facetune, which I really don't use that much. I used to use it a lot in high school, like blur out zits and like that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't really use it that much. And then I have my HP Sprocket app, which I use with my Sprocket in my pocket. Um, and then I have one second every day and I just tried to open this app to show you guys what it looks like but it actually like stopped my recording on my screen so I'm not gonna do that again um basically what it does is you record like a five second video you're supposed to record it every single day and then you can pick one second from that video and at the end of the year you can put together this long like one second from every day of your life it's a really cool idea but it's really hard to keep up with um I just fi found myself like never remembering to do it um you can set reminders but I always found when the reminder came up I was now I like should have recorded something that had already happened that day so that's kind of sucks um then I have boomerang which I mainly just use in the Instagram app I very rarely go to this one um and then I have clips which is the Apple one again I haven't I don't have much experience with that one yet um but it's a video app oh you can see me <laughs> um so that's cool. And then I also have um, Lightroom, which I just recently downloaded on my phone. Um, my friends say you can put your presets from your Lightroom on your computer onto your phone. So that's kind of why I wanted it. Um, but again, I haven't used it that much, um, but I do know it's awesome. So I'm going to start using that a little bit more. Um, next, I have my Chase app, my Wells Fargo app, obviously for banking. Um, and then I have my WhatsApp, which is a messaging app, if you don't know what it is. Um, I use this to communicate with my cousin in Canada because she doesn't have an iPhone. Um, and so it just makes it a lot easier for everyone um, if you have any international friends. Um, I know that my roommate used it to communicate with her mom while we were abroad. Um, and then I have Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. My at is at K-A-T-I-I-E white, if you want to follow me. Um, but obviously Twitter is pretty self-explanatory. And then I have my LinkedIn profile, which I don't really use that much, but I should. <laughs> um, and then I have Notably, which is probably one of my favorite iPad apps that I have ever downloaded in my entire life. Um, I used this a lot while I was abroad. I don't know if it's actually gonna let me open these notes. Um, but basically it's an app where you can take notes on your iPad. Um, it doesn't have to be an iPad Pro, but it worked really well for me. And you could write in different colors and you could draw and you could type on them. It was amazing. And I used to use this app if I needed my notes and I didn't have my iPad with me. Um, so here's something like my roommate typed out. Um, for an itinerary but yeah basically you can just do anything with this app um, and yeah so it's just really nice to have it on my phone and then I have my WordPress app to keep up with my blog and then I have this app called Canva which is something that my uh, friend told me about but basically I haven't used it too much but basically what you can do is it gives you all of these templates that are perfectly sized for things so I got the top there's Instagram there's Facebook headers Twitter headers um, like PowerPoint presentations, Facebook covers, Pinterest poster, like basically anything you can think of, they have a template for and you can just use the app to edit it how you want. Um, so that's that. Again, I haven't used it that much just because 
I think this would be really useful for someone who isn't into graphic design, doesn't know how to use Photoshop or anything like that. Um, I think that could be really useful for you, but for someone like me who knows how to make posters like this, um, or knows how to make really any anything like this, um, it's not very useful, but I do think it's a really cool thing. Uh, so I want to show you guys. Um, then on my next page, this is where everything gets slightly more organized, but not really. Um, so I have a s one called store apps. So I have any apps that I've downloaded that have to do with buying or shopping. So I have my society six, my Michaels app, which if you don't have the Michaels app and you go to Michaels, you're doing something wrong. Um, <laughs> this will have all coupons on it. So there's a coupon button at the bottom and you can like pick your location. Oh, I got a Snapchat for my mom. That's so cute. Um, you pick your location and your, uh, and your coupons can show up. Um, it's really nice because then you don't have to carry on paper or anything. Um, my Urban Outfitters app, which always has good sales. I usually tend to start surfing Urban Outfitters like late at night and I find the random sales as you wish. Rad Company, um, ASOS, Etsy, Prime Now, which I've never used. Nectar, which I used to, you can keep, um, it has like a rewards card on it. Um, and so I used to use that a lot. And then She Inside, Nordstrom's, Romwe, Thread Up, and then I have Venmo in here, which is kind of random, but I never use it. <laughs> so um, if my friends need to send me money, that's a cool way of doing it. Um, but I didn't use that one this much. Um, then I have things I don't use, um, which is like anything that basically comes on the phone. I know you can start deleting stuff, but I always feel like I'm gonna need it eventually. So I have iBooks, tips, health, podcasts I do use, but um, I just don't need it out. Calculator, voice memos, FaceTime, pages, feedback. Apple Maps, Clock, Wallet, TV, Compass, Stocks, Notes I do use a lot, but it's just in its own folder. App Store, iTunes Store, Watch, Messenger, like just all these things that like, I don't know why they're in this folder because I do use a lot of them, but they don't need to be out. Um, and then I have, yeah, then I have games. And I don't really play that many games. Do you like have my Tinder app and my Bumble app in games? Yeah, because it's a game. It's not real. Um, and so, yeah, I just have, let's see. Psych, which if you, it's another game by Ellen. I feel like no one knows about it, but it's really fun. Um, it's basically like Balderdash, if you've ever played that with your phones, um, where you have to guess what the people around the table would say. It's really confusing, but you should download it and play it with your friends. It's really fun. I really recommend it. Um, I might do a video like playing it with my family because I think it's really cool. Um, Slither.io, I haven't played that in a really long time, but it's a really fun game. Bumble, we all know what Bumble is. Um, Overcolor, which is probably like my favorite game and I played it all the time on the plane and my roommate used to get really annoyed with me. Um, but basically it's where you like stack these blocks and you want to get rid of the, the bottom, if that makes sense. I don't know. You can kind of see what I'm doing on this game. I'm not doing it very well, but you want to like stack the colors and then they will all like meld into each other basically. Um, so that's that game. And then I have the countdown app, which I used to use all the time, but I don't really, I don't think I have any countdowns going on right now. Yeah, I don't have any countdowns going on right now. Um, would you rather, I don't know why I downloaded this app. I don't know why it's still on my phone. Plants vs. Zombies, love Plants vs. Zombies, love playing on my computer. Um, Phrase Party is basically like catchphrase if you've ever played that. Um, it's really cool to have it on your phone, it's just easy. Um, Tinder, because that's a game to me. Um, Stack. I don't really use that much. Kimoji, never use those. Um, Akinator is really cool. It's a game, it's a paid app, but basically what you do is, oh, I haven't played it in a really long time. It's really fun to show off to friends, but it's where you think of something and, uh, you, th you have to think of something and then it will guess. And it's really good at guessing and I don't know how it does it, but, um, it's kidding me. Yes. Like you just go, it asks you questions and somehow it figures it out. So that's that app. Then I have Heads Up, which is the Ellen game, uh, Ramsey Dash, which is like Diner Dash, if you've ever played that, Pokemon Go, and then Words with Friends. Um, I don't really use Words with Friends that much, but I have it as a courtesy to my mother. <laughs> um, and then Pokemon Go, I haven't played in a really long time. Um, next is my travel apps. Hi. Okay, my camera died, but I'm pretty sure I was left off on my last folder, which is travel. Um, I don't use this as much as I used to because I'm not traveling. Um, but the apps that I did use while I was abroad and that I think were really useful um, was Hostel World. This was good. Um, I didn't really use it to book anything. Um, my friend booked everything we did, but it was really good to just kind of look and it's really organized and it's really easy. So I really liked Hostel World. I don't even remember what happened. Oh, no. So like that app, Deliveroo, which is the UK version of Postmates, um, used that a ton. Um, 
Flight Aware. I don't really use any of these apps. Um, Skyscanner I did use, and then I don't know why Zillow's in there, but that's just an app that helps you find a house, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, so basically Hostel, oh, Airbnb. Um, if you don't, you have to know what Airbnb is, um, or you must live under, like, a rock. Um, but I like using Airbnb because it allowed me to keep up with any, um, any reservations we had. Basically, we lived in Airbnb for three months, and so it was nice to be able to see, like, when our dates were, and, like, when we had to renew and stuff like that. Um, so that was really cool. So I do like the Airbnb app, I do like Deliveroo, and I do like Hostel World. Um, I didn't really use any of the other apps. Uni Days is an app, um, if you're in the UK and you can put in what university you go to and then you can get discounts on certain stores and certain days. Um, they have like student days. Um, so that one's pretty cool. And then Flight Aware I think is just one where you can track flights to see where your flight is. Yeah, so that's there. Basically, um, that's everything on my phone. One thing I did want to say, um, cause I feel like I never used this until someone showed it to me, but it really doesn't matter where anything is on your phone. Um, if you pull down, you can type in like things that you are looking for. So like notes, I, I'm, I'm always looking for my notes and like my app store and like, so basically things can be hidden away and they're easily accessible, um, that way. Um, but yeah, that's everything that's on my phone. So that's everything for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something. Um, leave me a comment with what your favorite app is that I don't have because I'd love to know. Um, I'm always looking for new apps and I always want to be downloading more apps even though I'm an app hoarder. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.